There was a final beat to this story, one that provided a note of optimism. In the same parish in which Isaac likely lived in slavery, we found another document dated April 13, 1870, recording his marriage to RuPaul's great-great-grandmother, Annie. So when that record was created, most African-Americans had only had the right to marry for the past five years. If you were a slave, legal marriage did not exist because you were property. So after the Civil War, lots of black people who had been in loving relationships mm -hmm. got married as soon as they could. And there's the marriage record. What do you yeah. think it meant to your ancestors finally to have the right to marry? Well, uh, you know, the obvious thing for me is, you know, I'm married and I, it's an interesting thing. Um, two men have just now, you know, recently been given the right to, to marry. Mm -hmm. And to, to this, how, how it uh, mirrors what was happening then and how people, humans on this planet can, uh, can keep people who love each other apart. So that parallel is, is pretty interesting. And it reminds us that rights that we take for granted yeah. haven't been there forever and could be taken away again. Yeah. So that we have to be vigilant. Yes. Yeah.